Hello everyone and welcome back to The Real South Africa. And of course, this is your host, Mark Edward Blanton. And I just want to thank all the South Africans that allow us to spend time in your country and the hospitality and the things that you do. We truly appreciate it from an African diaspora perspective. And we hope you are watching and loving our videos. Please subscribe. All right, guys, welcome to the real South Africa. There is so much to see in this country. There's so much to do. And I think it's a place that we all need to come visit. And even those that are in South Africa, South Africans, you need to move around a little bit. Come check out your country. It's absolutely beautiful. I think we see something as Americans that you guys don't see as South Africans. And that's why our first action review videos are pretty you know revealing because again these are things that we don't see um, as you guys know us African Americans we don't live inside of our TVs we live out in real space so what you see on TV isn't our true lives uh, and so forth so when we get here we're really appreciative of what we find the people that we meet the things that we're able to do how we feel and so forth so yeah traveling to south africa is a, is a wonderful thing and i will also say it's a grassroots movement we all need to get out here and get through that door of the return and enjoy and see what the glory of south africa really is in africa in general so anybody in the diaspora find your way back to africa check out this interview all right, everybody, this is Mark Bland again from The Real South Africa, as you guys already know. And we have a guest that's here traveling from everywhere. So I'm going <laughs> to let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Phyllis from Dallas, Texas. And uh, I'm, just good to, I'm just glad to be here. Just glad to be here. OK, OK, OK. Now, before you came here, you were somewhere else in, in Africa. Yes, I've been doing a bit of a rendezvous travel. I was in Egypt. Okay. And then I went from Egypt. I was in Egypt for about a month, and then I went to Dubai, and now I'm here in South Africa. So how did you end up coming? Because you wasn't scheduled to come to South Africa. Not initially, um, but because I was in the continent, I was not going to leave the continent without coming to South Africa. And I already knew about you guys, what oh. you guys were doing. So you heard about us? Yes, of course. Obviously, okay. yes. Okay, okay, okay. YouTube. Oh, damn it. So YouTube. We're, so we're the worst. We're the, we're the, we're the last. We're the last last uh, resort coming you to South Africa. You saved the best for last. Okay, okay. Save the best okay. for last. So wait a minute, let's talk about, you said you was in Egypt. Yes. Because a lot of people's dream location is to go to Egypt. Right. How was it? Egypt is good, but it's different. Um, it's a land of antiquities. The people there are very kind. Mm -hmm. um, but after you've seen all of the monuments and the museums and that, it's really pretty much time to go. Yeah. I was actually in Egypt uh, entertaining, um, investing in some property there mm -hmm. because the United States dollar is so favorable you yeah. know, to the... Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, it's very strong, yeah. very strong. Yeah. About as strong as it is here. Yeah, yeah. it's strong right now. Yeah, it's very strong. Yeah. yeah. And getting stronger, I think. Yeah. We're like, doing some ebbs and flows. Yeah. yeah, by the time we finish the interview, it'll be a little bit stronger. Trust me, it just keep popping up. <laughs> exactly, exactly, on. exactly. Okay, and then you said you left from Egypt. Egypt. Egypt to, to Dubai. Okay. I had a uh, girlfriend in college that um, now lives in Dubai. She works there. Okay. And so my plan was to meet up with her. Um, as fate would have it, we didn't meet up, but I did stay in Dubai, Ooh. and I actually loved it. Beautiful, okay. futuristic city. And then before I left, I had to come down to Joburg. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's funny? Because there's a lot of people that that's their, especially people from South Africa, that's their, like their dream trip. I want to go to Dubai. Right. It's worth it, right? Would you say? I think it is. I think it is worth it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, think, I think travel is worth it. Okay. I think travel is worth it. I think okay. it's very important for people to get out of their comfort zone, get out of their four walls of their country, mm. and, and travel and see the world. Okay. You see what else is going on. Yeah. Because okay. a lot of South Africans are going to see this, obviously. Absolutely. Absolutely. So they're going to you know, take what you say as a, you know, hey, maybe we need to. Absolutely. Go. If you have a passport, please don't let dust collect on it. Go ahead and travel. Travel if you can, as soon as you can. Okay. Carpe diem. That's my, that's my model. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I learned something, guys. I always yeah, learn something. Yeah, it's Latin for seize the day. I believe it's Latin for seize the day. Okay. Carpe cool. diem. Cool. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this. For now, you said you, you say the best for last. Yes. What you say? What's your first impression? Ah, <laughs> my first impression. <clears throat> first of all, the accommodations are awesome. 
um, the people here are very kind. Mm -hmm. um, you hear people often talk in your videos about the cuisine, the food was very good. Yeah. It is. Is that and so you verify some. it? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. But I would say as a whole, in the continent of Africa, the food is fresher. Yes. I don't know why that is, but it is so. Mm -hmm. um, I believe, you know, in, in my beloved country, America, um, our food is fast. <clears throat> it's not grown with care and it doesn't have the nutrients yeah. that we need. And here you find fresh fruit, you find fresh vegetables, you find meat yeah. that it has not been tainted with a lot of chemicals. Yeah. And so the, the taste is, you know, is more robust. Yeah. You can really, you know, enjoy the flavors of the food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've I've been all throughout America, and I've, I've been places where there's a lot of farms, and right. especially the, the 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 livestock, and it's, it's not a pretty sight. No, it's not a pretty sight. No. But I've been here, especially traveling through some of the other provinces outside of Hautin, uh in Pumalanga, Limpopo, mm -hmm. and you see the animals like just living their lives, you know, <laughs> until it's time, right. you know. But they time I, okay, to sacrifice. Yeah, like, okay, it's time. And then they right. then they then they come to my plate, and I'm I'm happy, but. At the end of the day, um, right. I think they I think they get ra raised properly. Right. Um, even the chicken wings are like regular size chicken regular wings. Regular size chicken wings. Yeah. Right. Versus these, you know, right. these tomahawk size chicken wings <laughs> we get in the United States. Right. And, you know, it was only alive for eight weeks. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And I'm one to where I frequent a particular grocery store that specializes in all organic. Mm -hmm. It will remain a name, but you know which one I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, my whole paycheck goes there, and still. The, the freshness and the availability of viable food is not there. It's just yeah. not. It's just not. But yeah. here, it's here. Yeah. It's here. I, I, I will say this. We was in Atlanta just recently. Right. And it was so funny. We went to Walmart. Um, here it's called Macro. It's another macro. store. Okay. It's macro. Okay. It's, just, it's just like Walmart. It's okay. actually the same company. Uh, they just named something else. Okay. And we walk into uh, Walmart and... Half the, 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 the shelves weren't even nowhere near full. We're in Atlanta. Really? Yeah, it was just, you know, it was some stuff there, but it was missing a lot of stuff. Wow. And I'm used to being walking around here, the macros, all the stores here, and everything is there. You know, you got a full store of, of stuff. And, of course, you know, you especially the South Africans, I tell you, if you go to Woolworths, I mean, they got some really nice um, food in there, of course, food lovers and things like right. that. So been the Woolworths, yeah. did go. It's yeah. very nice in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice, very yeah. nice. Yeah. It's like an upscale, it's like upscale grocery store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of yeah. like uh, it's in the state Trader Joe's, maybe. Kinda, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. on along that lines, but a little bit more fancier because Trader Joe's is a little bit more yeah. farmish, kind of um, gritty. What's the, that's another one that we used to go to in the states. I can't remember her name. There's Kroger's, Albertsons, Vons, mm -hmm. Save Mart, Giant Eagle. Yeah. I can't think of any more. Yeah, there's a, anymore. I'm trying to think of one we had in Washington, D.C., but nonetheless, um, um, I do, I agree with you, the, 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 the Woolworths is kind of upmarket. We call it yeah. upmarket here. Yeah, that's right. The versus upmarket. upscale. Upscale, upmarket. Uh, yeah, 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 same yeah. thing. Okay, cool. Right. Um, so your first impression has been good. It has been. It has been. I'm looking forward to the rest of my trip. I'm looking forward to experiencing more, learning more about the South African culture, the history, yeah. um, getting to know the people better. And hopefully to come back again real soon. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So were those that were there those back at home that were saying like when you went to Egypt, you know, like why are you going to Africa or are you just coming? To absolutely, absolutely, on, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> why are you going all the way over there? What you gonna do over there? Yeah. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, why not? You know, I think in these last couple of months or few months, couple of years, I'll say, mm -hmm. if it. COVID, if this whole crisis with COVID-19 didn't teach us anything, it should have taught us that life is short. Yeah, yeah. And you never know when your time is going to be up. So why not enjoy your life? Do the things that you have on your bucket list. Do them now. Yeah. If you have the ability to do them, do them now. Set aside money. Set aside time. Mm -hmm. Move things around in your life to where you can experience those things so you don't have to get to the end of your life and have a bunch of regrets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So just do it now. Live your life now. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And they're like, why Africa? Why not Africa? I have already been to Europe. Yeah. I've already been to South America. Yeah. I like both of those continents, but I had never been to the African continent and explored it more. And why not? This is where my indigenous people, this is where my people yeah. are from historically. Yeah. Why not come back home? But you know, it's funny because a lot of us, you know, obviously in the States, you know, 
we know we're African. Right. We're trying to hide behind something else sometimes. No. But we know we're African. We say, no, I'm from California. I'm from North Carolina. Um, but no, you, okay, yeah, that you were born there. You, maybe your birth certificate says that mm-hmm. and so forth. But you are an, you are African. Mm-hmm. And, and then the funny part about it is, you know, people that are from, the, from that are European that live in the U.S., that they know they're Americans just like we are. Right. But in the summertime, they go home. Yes, they do. They visit home, no they sure problem. Do. Sure do. They sure do. You'll find your friends going to their ancestral home, to England, to Ireland, yeah. to France, to Russia, wherever they're from. But we won't do it. And I don't understand why we won't do it. We need to come back home. As Mark says, bring your DNA back to the continent. Yeah. It is so important that you know your history, not only our American history, but also the history before we even got to America and the collective history, not the history that they wanted to teach us but what really happened yeah, yeah you know on the ground and it'll help us to holistically heal that's what it's all about it's yeah. about healing and having a greater understanding about who we are yeah. and what we are capable of doing collectively you said it yeah i really believe that yeah and i think africa is the future I yeah really do. yeah and some I people really will say do. africa's now africa is now yeah. it's in the future too yeah of course yeah. of course I, I would also say that you know, I think once people, I could put it to you like this. I don't know how many people they've gotten here. They're prominent people in the U.S., educated, you know, maybe have made a few bucks over their lifetime, had a great job, great great career, well, well respected, and they spend enough time here, and they're, they get off the plane looking for the things that they thought that they were going to find, and they think that's going to be prominent. And then they get here, and they're... And, few days in they're like I've been lied to and, yeah I've been lied to <laughs> and, it, we and, all? It, and it hurts right. and it, it hurts hurt. intrinsically it really does hurt because a lot of things that we did was based off that lie oh yeah our whole that? lives yeah yeah and when you get past 50 it really hurts <laughs> Cause you, cause, yes because you like <laughs> you I mean, wasted half your life yeah. it's greater than half your life on stupid stuff yeah yeah on frivolous things that yeah I mean you think you're going to experience one thing And when you get here, it's going to open you up to so much more that you didn't even think was possible. That's why it's so important to get out and to travel and and come to South Africa, come to the continent. Yeah, absolutely. So as you guys know, I always say, you know, you know, obviously we're here in South Africa. We can take care of you here. Um, but come to Africa. I don't care if, yeah. you, if, if your DNA comes back and you want to follow the DNA path and go to, you know, um, to, 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 to West Africa. You can. That's right. Go there. Just go. Just go. You, I guarantee you, you walk the streets and see people that look just like just you. Just like you. It's crazy. Yeah, isn't yeah it? it's crazy. <laughs> it's like I know I saw my auntie the other day. I yeah, was yeah. like, oh my, yes. Yeah. yeah they look just like us. Yeah. They act like us. They eat like us. They yeah. laugh like us. They cry like us. Yeah. They pray like us. They believe like us. Yeah. They walk like us. They talk like us. They are us. Yeah. They, so, they so, are so, us. so you heard that. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. I am. I'm so excited. I can't wait to come back and see different areas of South Africa. Yeah. 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 So, so what would you say for like young folk, like a young person who might actually, you know, stumble upon this video? What, should, what would you tell them? Here you are. You got a 25 year old been out of college for a few years. What, did, what would you tell that person? Honestly, and, and I have a lot of nieces and nephews, and this is what I would tell them. Establish yourself financially in your host country, your country of your birth first, and get a financial foothold. And then as soon as you get that financial foothold, be sure in between the time, you're traveling back and forward to the continent. Um, And make connections here. And these people that you make connections with here will be your liaison to take you and catapult you, catapult you into your future. You don't know what's waiting for you until you give it a try. Exactly. But establish yourself financially in the, or the place of your birth is because that's where you're going to have the most access to credit and et cetera. But then once you are getting yourself established, make sure you travel back and forth to the continent and create those liaisons. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. It's funny you say that because most of the people that, that come here, um, they are of age and they're like, 
I wish I would have known about oh, this absolutely. a long time ago because I would have made complete different, completely different moves. Right. Completely. Completely. Yeah. And you know what? I'm a bit jealous that I'm not <laughs> 20, 25, even 30 years old, unfortunately. Um, I wish I could erase 20, 30 years from my age to be a part of what I believe Africa um, is coming into. Yeah. And um, if you are of that age group, do not hesitate. Please don't hesitate. Yeah. Don't waste time and don't say next month, don't say next year, don't say, well, after I get married or after I have the kids. Do begin to craft your life now. You have the opportunity now to craft it, craft it while you can. Yeah. Right. Yep. Listen to Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cool. So yeah. so so tell the people here, you know, I mean, you've been here for a few days. Obviously, yes. you've been in, on the continent because I remember your call. You was like, I'm coming to South Africa. Right. And I'm like, where are you? I'm thinking that you're in the U.S. Like most right. people, when they call us, they're in the U.S. Right. And you're like, no, I'm already on the continent. I'm, I just definitely need to get down there. So what are you seeing? Tell them what you're seeing. Here in South Africa? Yeah. I'm seeing, I tell you what, I'm seeing um, such kind people. Um, they're soft-spoken. They are, I mean, the other day I, I got a ride mm. home from some local South Africans and they're just so giving. Um, I did not expect that. I don't yeah. know why I didn't, but I didn't. Um, so far it's just been a wonderful experience. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, in any country, you, you can have fine dining, you can have world-class hotel accommodations, mm -hmm. you can have infrastructure that is A1. We know of certain uh, cities and countries around the world that have that infrastructure, but it's really the people yeah. that make the country. And, and so for what I've seen is that the South Africans are next to none. They're just the kindest people I've ever met. I mean, yeah. really, truly, truly, and I've, I've been a lot of places, mm -hmm. and even I would say even in, sorry Egypt, but I think yeah. <laughs> South Africa, I think they trump Egypt even, yeah, yeah. I really do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this it, it's, it's, the, it's the culture. I think it is, it's just, yeah. it, it is what it is. Hospitality, It right. is what it is, and they're not right. faking it. That's no, they're just not, how they are. they're not, they're yeah. not. And they're so relaxed and gentle and just helpful. Whatever yeah. you need, they got you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like even in my case, you know, I've been out to villages, and um, of course townships, you know, or the rurals, as some people may say. Um, it's the same thing as like being in Joburg, but you just, it's more, it's even more tight knit. You know, mm -hmm. if you're there, you speak to people, next thing you know, there's some food involved, it might be right. a little fire or what we call a boma. <laughs> right. We're, we're telling stories, we're talking. Right. And you know, obviously pre-COVID, there's, you know, there's no, um, there's no, um, curfew mm -hmm. but it'd be two in the morning and you still tell still them talking, stories and you just stories, and it's yeah. like you've been knowing these people your whole life right. and you just showed up that day right and they're concerned about okay you are you gonna get you have a place to stay you have this right um and you say yeah okay and they want to make sure you have food um if you go to someone's house there's going they're, they're going to bring out the food That's it's just right. it's just normal even if they don't right. have much they're right. going to bring out the food Right. And they're going to share with you. So right. that's what I found out about South Africa exactly. and, the, and the people. Right. And um, so, but yeah, that is, to me, that's the number one selling point. Then the yeah. food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then the food. Then the food. Then the food. Yeah. Got to say the food. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything else do you think you wanted to add to, to your comments? I don't think so. Only thing I would say is just please consider coming. Don't hesitate. Just please consider coming yeah. right away. So did we make it difficult? Oh, it made it so easy. You know... It's supposed to be hard, because remember, people always say, I don't know how to get there. I don't know. No. You know what? After traveling on my own, and I historically travel by myself mm -hmm. and have done so for years. After traveling um, in the continent for these couple of months or so, mm -hmm. I was tired, and I needed a package that had everything laid out for me. I just needed to rest my brain. Mm -hmm. And so when I got here, I didn't have to think about how I was going to get from the airport to my accommodations. There was someone there to pick me up mm -hmm. with my name on a placard. Yeah. I just looked at him, waved and went off. 
Um, he dropped me off at the accommodations. Everything was done for me. My food is taken care of. And another thing I'd like to mention to the viewers, when you think about getting a package travel deal, a lot of times that package travel deal is so um, compact with things to do when you're on a schedule. With the Blanton schedule, it's not like that. You have free time to explore yeah. on your own if that's what you choose to do. If you choose not to do that, that's fine as well. But you're in an area where you can do some shopping, you can eat on your own, you can do some intermingling with fellow travelers or local people. So you have that flexibility and that's what I like about your package. And I feel totally safe as a single female traveling by myself, yeah. totally safe, no problems at all. Well, we try to make sure. Absolutely. We do. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. the places that we take people, they've, they've been, we've been there before. Right. Many, many, many times. Actually, the, the people you met the first night, I was just letting people know that now they're in Durban. Yes. Um, and they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, they, was, they were, yeah. Tasha's not here because she's on the phone talking to them about their, you know, how great it is. And they really right. are, you know, thankful that we set them up there. They have a, um, the, um, they're staying at the Pearls uh, in, 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 in Mlanga. The people that's here know exactly what that is. Wow! It's it's on the it's literally on the beach, oh, wow. and they're looking out onto the onto, to the Indian Ocean, and all the amenities they need are in right walking there. distance, and right. and it's nice, and the service is nice, and wow. they're still in South Africa. That's right. That's why this is the place. The topography here is amazing, especially mm -hmm. here in in Joburg, the rolling hills and yeah. the green expanse. Oh my. It's just beautiful. Yeah. I can only imagine what Cape Town and Durban look like soon. I will find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, like I said, we, we're glad you're here. We're glad you got an opportunity to come. Glad you called us, you know, and said, hey, I want to come to South Africa. It was last second. It was really last second. Yeah, really last second. It was second. last second. I was like, last second. Let's see what we could do. But we got it done. Yes, yes. And now you're here, and it worked out. Yes, it did. So. All right, guys, you guys need to, you know, obviously share this video, subscribe Absolutely. to the channel. If you haven't, there's a lot of content that we already put out. There's going to be more content. And like I said, right, she doesn't realize it, but she went through the door of the return <laughs> here in Joburg. Yes. We have the door to return, yes. so you can come through as well. So we hope to see you here in sunny South Africa. Hello, everyone. As you guys already know, my name is Mark Edward Blanton from the Real South Africa, owner and operator of this wonderful company that brings you to South Africa. And we do it in a manner in which you get an opportunity to view everything, see everything, everything you need to see, either on a six day, a 10 day, 13 day trip, or if you want to stay longer, we can arrange that for you as well. We do a lot of stuff. The best thing you could do is go to our YouTube channel if you're not already on it and subscribe because when you get there you will see a lot of information we put out information all the time which could be important or which is important for you to travel to africa so if you always wanted to come here if you wanted to bring that dna back to south africa or to africa this is the best way to do it so we hope to hear from you soon and if there's anything that you need again make sure you um subscribe to our channel and also hit us up at info at the real south africa.com you are on your way. You are a final approach to Johannesburg, South Africa. A long lost dream you had that you was wondering why you kept having it. Now you can go ahead and live it. Welcome to the real South Africa. <laughs> and of course, South Africa has some of the best architecture, some of the best homes that you're going to find in the world. And if you're interested in looking at homes here in South Africa, just reach out to us at outreach at therealsouthafrica.com. There are several different price, price points from condos to six, seven bedroom homes and everything in between. So if you're interested, reach out to us. And like I said, hopefully we will put together a package that will feature just coming to South Africa, looking at property. And if you think that's a good idea, just let us know. Shoot us an email, leave a comment in the bottom. Chat with you soon. Welcome to the grassroots movement called The Real South Africa. Uh, we are officially um, becoming the brand that you want to use when coming to South Africa, especially for the first time. Uh, we are, are uniquely positioned as African Americans here in Johannesburg, so we do have access to pretty much everything that you need. And I know it's kind of hard to determine what those things are when you're in, in the United States, but trust me, if we're telling you you need it, you need it so um, obviously you can reach out to us um, to start planning your trip as soon as possible 
Of course, you can reach out at info at therealsouthafrica.com or our website, therealsouthafrica.com, which is currently being revamped. So by the time this video comes out, you should be able to see it. Uh, all the up, up, updates and changes and so forth. So, but yeah, we, we really want you guys to take advantage of this. We all know that we, you know, we don't know how to get here. Most people don't. Um, and there's not a lot of, uh, you know, direct things that you can get to. Uh, and what I mean is, you know, normally when you go to like a travel agency in the States, they sell you safari, 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 like that's all they sell. Do we do safari? Absolutely. But there's all kinds of safaris. There's, there's shopping safaris. There is food safaris. There is nightlife safari. There is sightseeing safari. There's a lot going on here in the Republic of South Africa. So again, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Share with your friends, let everybody so know what's going on down here today. and if what we're like doing. Yourself, and of course, you know, those that are looking at trying to um, do something more, um, you know, obviously reach out to us um, in reference to if you're looking at, you know, if you purchase our book or movie. So, hope to hear from you soon.